was planning a riding video with Hannah here. She was gonna film a bunch of rad shots of me doing sick wheelies and burnouts and falling. We're both just getting over being sick. As you can tell, I do not sound the greatest. Somehow I hurt my back the first day riding this. I didn't do anything to like, it's like, oh damn, that hurt really bad. It was just like gradually got tighter throughout the day and then by the end of the night, I couldn't even roll over in bed. It hurt so bad. So I've been taking lots of CBD oil because my favorite riders, Dean Wilson and Chad Reed, do CBD, and I actually ran out, so I couldn't ride today. In all seriousness, it was going to be a riding video, but I was giving my back uh, two more days to feel better, I and told you to. it was it was I'm an ex doctor. it was an excuse. <laughs> more of us riding Sunday over at Brandon's, so uh, it'll be more fun anyway instead of just me riding. I had requests to make this video, like how much did this cost, how much did the build cost, like the total blah 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 cost. So I'm just going to do it. If you don't like a lot of talking, then just click the hell off this video because that's all Make I'm sure going to do. First. I'm actually going to do a video of how much the cost of the bike was and then all the parts and basically all the necessary stuff and then the plastic conversion stuff. All right, guys. So first on it. <laughs> All right, I'm basically, I'm basically, oh man, this <laughs> dyslexia is kicking in right now. That's all right, a long list. it is a long list, but you it's know actually. How to pronounce all of that? Yes, I typed it all. Of course, I know how to pronounce it all. It's not actually that hard of words. Ingaini. Hmm. Ingaini case. No, that's engine case. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dumbest commentary ever. So the first per first purchase was all right. Now we gotta cut that out. Shit too. <laughs> Isn't this kind of fun though? Yeah. It is. All right. So the first purchase was an engine case because it had a left engine case, but I needed a right one, and that was a hundred twenty dollars shipped. All this stuff is uh, the amount is shipped. Okay, because I didn't buy any of it like local, I guess. So it was $120 shipped, and then it needed a cylinder and piston and rings, and I got that for $125. And then I got a IMS gas tank for $218. I got a service manual, which is it was technically purchased for $25, but it's worth that worth way more than that when you don't know what the hell you're doing i'm just kidding i knew what the fuck i was doing all you motherfuckers saying i didn't know what i was doing screw you you probably never even changed a tire which actually is pretty hard i got a composite arc lever it was used so it was only 33 dollars, but it's still pretty sweet and it, the the white part's actually pretty freaking yellow now whatever they use to clean it looks like shit um i had to get the oil tubes for the cam caps because I only had one I got OEM main bearings that was $77 I got complete top and bottom end gasket kit for $49 uh, complete seal kit for 24 this complete OEM seat with this uh, I don't even know what kind of decor I don't know decor visuals Kawasaki seat cover rib seat cover uh, what yeah, I got an OEM seat with this rib seat cover for $139. And that's a pretty good deal because I don't even think you can get that ugly, stupid, a chair B seat for that much. Even if you can, I still wouldn't even pay $80 for that piece of crap. I could have saved money by not getting the Psycho Power Flow, but I wanted the Psycho Power Flow and I wanted the Flow Green front end with the rest black. You can save some money there and not get the Psycho Power Flow, but also, why wouldn't you just do it? just looks better but uh i got a number plate it probably cost me a little bit more to piece it together because i didn't just want a whole uh complete black kit or a whole um complete flow green kit i pieced it together so it probably cost a little bit more number plate was 30 dollars. the front fender was 40 and then i got the newer air box for 119 off the same person that i got the seat from i got the subframe 
for $250, which is actually pretty cheap for an OEM subframe, which I did get it off the same guy that I got the seat and airbox from. Got some Mica handlebars. They're the MC Ben, which is basically the Renthal 999s. They were $83. I got a header, a stock 16 to 18 header for $59. I got an OEM Kawasaki cam chain for $52. I got an FMF 4.1 uh, titanium with carbon tip and the mid pipe for $150 at the Psychra power flow uh, side panels for $44 the rear fender for 29 and the shrouds I think only the shrouds are really actually power flow but it was uh, $80 I got new head bolts and washers I don't know if you can hear the cars in the background probably I got new head bolts for 21 because I know supposedly they stretch after a while and I just wanted to be sure. I have a new FMF sticker that I haven't put on yet. That was $12. Uh, a counterbalancer shaft that was ended up being bent from where the crank rod hit it for $30. Two new titanium exhaust valves for $144. Rottle housing and cables for $20. Got a clutch cable for $10. Capacitor for $13. Kicker for $44 and a clutch cover for $58. And that's the entire list. I want to say engine wise, I think I rebuilt the engine and could have had it technically running for about 500, 550, I think. It really isn't bad, but you know four strokes. People always say it takes like 1,500, two grand to rebuild them. So and this one had a blown out crank and everything, which luckily I did get a uh, a good OEM crank with it. I guess got lucky with how cheap I was finding a lot of these parts, but the total parts with the plastic conversion and the engine rebuild was 2122. And then the total build cost of this 13 model that looks like a newer bike and has 2012 forks, which are spring, $3,022. So that's really not that bad. Yeah, you probably could have went out and bought a 13 model for $3,000 or $3,000 to $3,500 to uh, rebuild it and freshen it up and everything. And then do the plastic conversion. You'd probably have five or 6,000 in it. When you're done, you were swapping to spring forks also. You'd have five or 6,000 in it. And that would really put a, da a dent in your bank account. All right. So I bought this bike for $900 and then put 2000 and such change in it and came out with 3222 Not only do I have a bike for fairly cheap, it's fuel injected, has spring forks, it looks good, and I've been in the engine and I know every square inch of this bike now didn't go too crazy with it i think it was more of a budget build and to show anybody can do it, it wasn't one of those crazy youtube builds where you just put i don't know like six seven thousand dollars into a bike that's worth fifteen hundred basically came out with what i put in it is basically what the bike's worth about three thousand i'm pretty happy with it the only thing i wish that it probably had would be like an electric start and that's just because i haven't owned a bike with electric start runs good it's got lots of power and um, I'll be riding it again this Sunday so two days from now and uh, we'll get more footage of it a lot of eBay searching and a lot of waiting for parts to pop up that are priced really good I'd also like to thank Estes Motorsports for some of the parts and he's eventually gonna do the suspension on this for me oh yeah shout out to Hannah for being here and shout out to no one else. Oh yeah, fucking Rex. I forgot. Thanks, Jody, for being a good guy. And we love you. I'm just kidding. I'm totally fucking... <laughs> I'm cutting that out. <laughs> I might just put it in there. Hold on, hold on, I scared the hell out of my dog. Why would you stick that up your ass and then put it right next to your... Because I want to smell the damn fart. Yeah, it smells like... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm getting off here before anything else weird happens. <laughs> Wanted to give you guys a video. 
Sorry it wasn't a riding video. I'm not really feeling well. My back kind of hurts. I need to get more CBD oil. You guys know what all pretty much every part cost. It wasn't a huge list. It wasn't a crazy build. It was a budget build. It was a realistic build. And anybody can do it. And you won't go super... You won't be spending six, seven thousand dollars on a bike that's only worth three, three grand. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. I think the bike came out good, and uh, I'm ready to get some more ride time in. Before I forget, I also wanted to thank you guys for watching my videos because without you watching the videos that I make of me and all my friends riding and all that good stuff, uh, wouldn't have been able to build this bike. So, not only do I want to thank Jody at Estes Motorsports. I want to thank you guys for that. Everybody that has bought any kind of merch and stickers and shirts and hoodies from me and watching the videos. So, yeah, all that stuff helps, and I appreciate it. <clears throat> all right, we'll catch you guys on the next one. We're going to be uh, breaking in Brandon's new little track trail. And uh, I'm going to go edit this. I'm going to go edit this and upload it for you guys, so... I can stay on the every other day video train. So I'll see you guys later.